So today we're going to be taming up some Velanosaurs so we can go ahead and fight Steinbjorn in a bunch. And I've already found a 180 down here, but there's also 168 nearby. I only have enough kibble for one, but I can knock out the two of them and then at least just check out their stats. I do have more kibble back at base and I guess we're not that far, so it's fine. Let's go ahead and get this one knocked out real quick though. Um, I've already actually got some pretty decent stats from these guys, um, but I'm just trying to see if I can get some last little extra stats on top. I already have a pretty decent melee staff from the very first one that we tamed and we've been taming just a couple since um since the very start when we actually did tame that one they're not that common at least i haven't found them to be maybe they're dying really quick because they're quite aggressive i don't know but yeah i haven't really been able to find too many high levels and i'm actually really surprised to find two together like this so let's go ahead and get this one knocked out there we go perfect uh, i'll go ahead and give that one the kibble as well actually let me see um I feel like that melee stat's kind of high. That looks pretty good. Its health looks low, judging by the other ones that I've tamed. So let's go ahead and uh, check out that one up there as well. I was actually going to... I was really, like, very, very tempted to just go with the stats that I have already tamed up. But I'm glad that I came over here and just quickly checked out these ones as well. Where did that other one go? Uh, it was, like, right around here a couple minutes ago. Um, oh, did it go into the lava? Wait, no, that's a galley. Okay surprising that galleys can burn in lava let's see is this it right here this might be it um what is that yeah that's a dead velocisaur god damn it oh my god i needed to open up obs and start recording like there was no way i could have stopped this i didn't know he was having these thoughts that's so dark oh he just got okay <laughs> is that even the same one like that was very quick how fast it just disappeared like that it must be i, I have no idea how quick they dissolve or whatever all right cool so i guess we are only taming up one here right now cool all right well anyway guys go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one uh we're actually obviously going to be doing some mutations on these things here today i'm looking for some uh probably mainly just some stamina and melee but we might also go for some health as well I'm looking to do this so we can go ahead and farm up Steinbjorn a bunch because, of course, these are probably one of the better creatures to use to kill Steinbjorn. And honestly, yeah, like it, it makes sense to use them over like some other things. I know I could go in there and bombard him with Gigas. That is quite fun as well. But Velanosaurs, they, they need a purpose. And I think this might be it. All right, cool. Well, anyway, uh, let's just wait for this thing to be tamed up and I'll compare its stats with my other ones. And then I guess we're going to get to the breeding. Oh, we got some more over here. Hello. 66, 60. Okay, cool. Uh, that is a danger noodle down there. I'm not going to go near that. I got to say, I'm still so surprised what happened to that 168. I really had no idea that was going to happen. <laughs> like, I would have tried to lead it away. Wow, it just like straight up went into the lava by itself. I, I don't even understand. All right, so it should tame up any second now. And I'm really hoping for a high melee. It definitely seems like it. That's right, little Sid. Show him the galley. There we go. <laughs> Wake him up. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, let me check you out. Oh, I just realized. Oh my god, I forgot to use a freaking elixir. I keep forgetting to use them. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Uh, which one's the new one? Oh, I think it's this one here. Yeah, 46 points. Yeah, that's my new high melee stat. Also, is that weight better? No, I have 44 here. Okay, so let's run through the stats real quick. Uh, the, the, this one here has the high health, which is 46 points. Uh, this is the original one that we tamed that actually doesn't have any high stats anymore um we've already replaced all those ones um and then the one that we just got has the high melee and then the this other one right here has the high uh stamina and the weight okay cool so 46 points into health 46 into melee and then 44 into stamina and weight cool all right um it would be really good to also have that 168 but you know what like i would have wanted it to stay around if it didn't want to be around anyway let's get back to base let's start breeding up these things um yeah i i'm really like one thing that would have been great on this map is uh freaking r velanosaurs they look really really cool i guess we're gonna have to check those out at some point in the cluster and do some crazy mutations with them yeah we're gonna be getting back to some of that stuff pretty soon but um yeah so i want to go ahead and get these guys mutated up a good bit i don't know how far i want to go with this honestly i feel like i want to go pretty far but I don't exactly know how far we should go. Like, how, how far is too far? You know, we, we obviously will want some stamina. Like, what is their actual stamina stat right now? Where's the 44 points? That is... Okay, yeah. That's that's 1,800, basically. Um, What is their melee coming out at? Just slightly short of 400. And then the health is coming out at just... 
Yeah, so if we if we imprinted these things, they'd have close to like 5,500 health, I would say. Um, that's pretty good, obviously. I feel like maybe I could probably just do some health ones if I'm getting them alongside the melee and the uh, the stamina ones as well. So let's go ahead. Oh, did I not just click that? What the hell? Let's go ahead and just get all these stats combined, and then um, I'll have to make a big mess of females everywhere here. It's going to be great. Uh, let's go ahead and get you guys breeding. Perfect. All right. Well, anyway, I'm really excited to see the final product on these dudes. Honestly, I really like Velanosaurus, and I wish I could use them more, but they're just kind of... They're not great fighters. They're really good, obviously, with their shooting. They're just actually fighting with them nowadays is not so good since the crazy nerf that they got to their, like, spinny tail attack. But, um, yeah, I remember when these things first came out. Oh, my God. They were kind of terrifying. They really were. Like, trying to tame them early game was such a mess for me. I remember making, like, a really crazy trap and just, like, getting pelted by their little projectiles all the time. Very, very cool creature. And, honestly, I don't know. They have, like, such a unique look as well. <laughs> a dinosaur body with spikes everywhere and a freaking... I don't even know what the hell you would call this. But, yeah, they've got that, too, on their face. Yeah, very crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and just get all this done, and I'll see you guys with the final product later on. All right, so we're on the other side of all the mutating, and let me show you my little female setup that I had going on over here. So we've got 20 female Velanosaurs all just grown up into each other. I probably could have fit more, but I'd only bred out 20 of them, and then once they're already grown up, it's kind of hard to add more. So yeah, lots and lots of females, lots and lots of tails here. And uh, then, obviously, I just took the male down in front, and uh, they all get breeding. You know what? I actually never checked out the other side. That's horrifying. Anyway, so <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead and quickly check out all the stats. So I did go pretty hard on these mutations. So here is the original, um, like, perfect uh, male right here. So this one has all of the best stats from the wild teams that we got. So uh, just take a quick look at those. And now let's jump up to the mutated version which is 20 onto the health, stamina, and melee. Um, I didn't really feel like doing weight. It didn't really seem that important. So, yeah, uh, those stats jump up by quite a lot. I'm definitely very happy about the stamina jumping up from, like, 1,700 to 3,000 as well, which is great. Uh, and then the uh, health goes up from, like, 4,500 to almost exactly 8,000. And then the melee goes up from, like, 400 up to uh, 630, which is pretty amazing. But then on top of that, here is the imprinted version. So what is that like? I think it's like 10% or something. I can't remember the exact number. But anyway, yeah, it's it's probably, I think it's like 20%, right? It's like 20% added on to the stats, except for stamina and oxygen, of course. So yeah, those, uh, those stats are pretty amazing. And that is what they're coming out as. And there you can actually already see the colors. I was, I was about to do the grand reveal. And then I realized that they're sitting right there. Let me show you it in light, though. You haven't seen it in the light. So, yeah, here we go. Um, so, yeah, these are the color regions that we went for. Um, I, I got a black color, and then I was like, oh, my God, purple would go really well because we've already got some blue, and it's kind of pointless to add more blue. So, yeah, uh, lots of purple. Lots of different types of pinks and purples, actually, as well. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this. It was very difficult to actually get the second region in the black. Uh, so, region 5 is, like, the majority of the body, and then region 0 is, like, the rest of it. And then, obviously, all the rest is, like, different versions of pink and purple, which I'm really, really happy with. Um, so, yeah, let me let me show you guys these things. And uh, I also actually have another pack of them over here. I've got, what is that, like, 12 of them, right? i got 12 of them over there ready to go to head into Steinbjorn, potentially. I, I'm thinking if we can get something to, like, tank the damage, I can set up a bunch of them on turret mode. And then, hopefully, we just take down this thing really, really quick. If not, then maybe we could just let them all fight in. And if they die, they die. It's fine. We should be able to defeat this thing. So, yeah, we got a bunch of those guys there. Um, oh, I'm getting stuck on things. Yeah, that's one thing about the Velanosaur. They actually get stuck on a lot of things from what I remember. Uh, let me quickly just get ready to craft up these saddles. So here is the blueprint that I have right here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that on. Let me pop on my uh, little crafting skill potion. So I need 12 of these, and I should have enough resources. I did go ahead and pull for them, and let's go ahead and get that crafting then. Perfect. Okay. It's going very, very fast. It's kind of laggy because it's removing so many resources. There we go. We've got lots of them there. Um, I'm looking for the best one. I feel like it's this 88 one right here, maybe? Uh, I think it might be. Yeah, there's a lot of 87s. 88 is 42%. Pretty good. Not super, super amazing, but still pretty good. We didn't get anything like close to 50% at all, but fair enough. All right. Well, anyway, so yeah, these 12 saddles are going to go on to our Velanosaurs. Let's 
Let's go ahead and pull for all. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. I still have my little crafting skill bonus thingy on. Let's go ahead and do that and then pull all those out. Cool. And we're going to chuck those onto these guys right here. Um, although I'll probably hang on to the last saddle because the one that I'm using. Let's see. Let me chuck that onto you right quick. So yeah, the one that I'm using um, has a slightly worse saddle. This is just the saddle that I had. And obviously those blueprints bring it up a good amount more, actually. So yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and paint all of these real quick. Yeah, we can paint them like black and purple. That shouldn't take too long. First, I got to do some healing, though. God damn. All right, let me see. What way do we want to paint this? So I feel like the majority of the leather should be the black color. Let's see. So let's put that as black um that is like the it'll yeah let's do that as the magenta which is this one right here uh little buckles and straps and stuff should probably be magenta although that looks pretty good hmm let's see let's change the wait what's this one here oh that's that back bit let's put that bit as magenta let's do the buckles as magenta and then do this last one as black right yeah that looks good i feel like that's gonna be good all right cool uh let's see yeah, you know what? That actually matches them quite well. Cool. All right. So, yeah, I just have to go ahead and replicate that. Let me see the exact way I did that. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, oh my God. It's always such a pain doing all these saddles. I really wish that there was a way of just copying and pasting it. Um, it would be great, but unfortunately, I don't think there is. I did see this before. People were saying, oh, you can paint the blueprint. You definitely can't do that. Um, <laughs> I saw a lot of comments about that before, and I was like, have you guys ever played the game? That's not a thing. I wish it was like that would be so handy actually it, that would really save a lot of time and then also you know the little amount of berries and stuff that you need to actually make these dyes i guess you'd save that too but yeah unfortunately it is not a thing that being said there's definitely a mod out there that would make that happen and you know what there's a mod for absolutely every little issue the issue is that these types of things would be great in the main game like, I, I complain a lot. I'm like, oh, that would be great. That would be great. That would be great. But, like, a lot of these things could be solved with mods. I'm just not interested in adding a mod for every single little issue that I'm bitching about. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. I think I got them all. Yeah. Cool. Let me go ahead and just pop all these saddles on then. It doesn't really matter which ones they go on at this point. As long as we have the best one on the one that I'm going to be riding on, then I'm completely fine with whatever they all have. You know what we do need in the game? A loadout mannequin for creatures. Could you imagine that? You just, like, walk them up and like whistle them in or something they just get geared up with whatever you have in there like saddles <laughs> you just like throw a whole army into there like cry pot them out or something and then they all just end up with the saddles on and maybe skins and other stuff costumes if you have that too oh man all right let's see uh you guys actually have a couple levels from just sitting around that's great um let me go ahead and try out my one because i actually have not checked out the damage on these things just yet so let's see we got some dodos over here we can test headshots on them as well which is going to be great so hmm, how many dodos do we have eh, we've only got two let's try out of course the, the shooting mode first so oh body shots on a dodo just 87 that's it oh you might have been mate boosted yeah you know what i feel like it would have been 87 is really low i'm going to be very disappointed if it's actually 87 131 that's the actual number any more dodos we do have oh you know what we actually do have some more dodos if this is a super low number, then that means that there's more around here. Bro, come on. There we go. That's a headshot right there. 400 almost. That's great. Uh, let's actually test out the swiping. Okay. That's not too bad. And I feel like that guy wasn't mate boosted as well. So that's pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's not a crazy amount of damage, but it's still pretty good. Now, actually, hang on a second. These guys do less damage to flyers, right? That's a thing. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I don't know. I don't... This What? <laughs> What's happening here? Bro, why are you the ground? <laughs> why do they keep doing this? This is so confusing. I keep finding, like, trikes in the ground everywhere here. It's crazy. Go ahead and get this dude killed. Oh, he's fully in the ground. Dude, get out of there. Keep hitting his head. You gotta actually hit his, his booty. Come on. All right, let's just hit him in the head. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bye. All right, let's see. Do we have any, like, pteranodons around? I could test this on. That would be great. Um... I don't really think so. To be honest, there's not a whole lot on my island right now, actually. That kind of sucks. Let's see. Anything else over here? Yeah, no, not really. Wait. Oh, that's a trike. Okay. I thought the head of the trike was like a trend on wing, but I guess not. One thing that we do need to test out is the mate boosted damage, because of course, you know, when we have one by itself, we do these types of damages, which is still pretty good considering we haven't leveled anything. But as soon as we get that mate boost, we do a lot more damage. So I think I'm going to be borrowing you for a second. 
Let's see. We have anything over here we can really fight? We did have that trike, actually. I think it's just one as well. Perfect. Okay. Let me go ahead and test this out then. We can probably... Oh, we can't, we can't throw stuff off the back, I guess. There we go. We can probably start off by testing out the shooting mode and then maybe get in there with an attack. Does that... Wait, does that not increase with mate boost? I guess it doesn't, does it? Ooh, there we go. That's our mate boosted damage, though. Okay. Weird. I don't know why I thought that would work. Hmm. Although, does it... Does it work on a mana with the, with the breath? I feel like it does, right? I think it does. I really feel like it does. Yeah, we're not getting any mate boost on that. Hmm. I guess I just never noticed that before. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, we do a little bit more damage when we hack and slash with these dudes. So that's that's decent. Uh, one thing that we do need to do now is uh, maybe just level this one. I, honestly, I feel like maybe having a full army of them probably wouldn't be the best idea against Steinbjorn. We could probably do that. All right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and level them all then. Um, let me name you for the moment. Draw me some cool name suggestions based on these colors down below. Um, let's just name you, uh, main. There we go. Cool. And let me pick you up and we'll pick up all the rest of them here. Um, I do have some baby gigas over there so we can go ahead and just kill some of those for some levels. And, uh, yeah, then we can maybe head on over and, and fight Steinbjorn. In fact, I'm actually going to go ahead and do this to get over there. I really need to work on building up the base a little bit more soon because I seriously have been slacking here. I, I got to go ahead and get this done. Or at least maybe make a bridge or something through the middle because it's such a pain to get across here. All right, here we go. Over to Jodenheim so we can go fight some Steinbjorn. I went south. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to actually be going over here. Ooh, um... Where are we? There's the obelisk. Yeah, we're like on the opposite side of this place. Let me actually test out this damage because I haven't actually gotten to do this yet. Oh my god, that's so much better. All right, let me go ahead and... There we go, sweet. Uh, we got to watch out for Therizinos. They can't hurt the rider. Um, yeah, that's actually some pretty amazing damage right there. Not gonna lie. I feel like that... Is that nerfed down for when we actually hit Steinbjorn? I think it might be halved, but I'm not entirely sure. That's still pretty amazing. Some of them aren't really hitting properly. It's so weird how these things work. Oh, here we go. I can actually test this out. I'm fairly certain that Velanosaurs do less damage to flyers, right? If I can actually hit you. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. So normally, like, projectiles would hurt flyers more, but I think it's because it already does the special effect where it makes them land. So I feel like that was probably a nerf that they did for PvP or something like that. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, we got some penguins over here. Let's just travel right through. Um, I feel like it might be quicker to go ahead and just hop on the Maywing. Can we talk about how beautiful this area is right now? Like, this is so beautiful. This freaking red grass with the snow goes really well. I don't know why. It just really does. And there we go. Of course that would happen. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. Get out of here. Ah, man. All right. Here we go. Perfect. Now I can actually do things. Let me go ahead and pop out my uh, my May Wing. Let's just get around here a little bit quicker. So we can just blast straight over to Steinbjorn's arena area. I'll show off the coordinates once we're there. It's actually, it's not too far from the obelisk itself. Let's see. I use the obelisk as like a good way of figuring out how to get here. Because sometimes I really struggle. I don't know why. This area is just really hard for me to find when I'm flying from this area here. But there's a really easy way to find it from the obelisk. Let's see. Yeah, it's right around here, actually. I ran straight into it. So, yeah, if you just, like, run from the obelisk area, uh, go to the whale bones, and then before you go under, of course, just drop down to this little lake right here, and then this is it right here. Also, these little pillars are outside of each of the portal areas, so if you're looking for them, just look for those. Yeah. Anyway, let's pull out the GPS, and we can show off coordinates real quick before we head on in. So there we are right there. Very good. And let me run right through. I'm very surprised they didn't actually add in any creatures when you're trying to get into this area. I honestly feel like they probably should have, you know, just so it's not super easy to just get in here and form the crap out of this thing. I mean, even Bela's arena has, like, bears kind of guarding it and snakes and some other stuff. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, here's the plan. We're just going to go ahead and dump out all of the, um, the Velanosaurs anyway. I feel like just dumping them all out, letting them kind of fight it. I could put them onto turret mode, but it's just going to run at all of them. And maybe we should. You know what? Let's put some of them onto turret mode. We can't put them all into turret mode. Something's got to actually be fighting it. So let's see. Let's do this. So the way the turret mode works is that they won't actually do anything but try to shoot. Although I think once they actually start to get attacked, then it kind of kicks them out of that mode, right? 
maybe all right let's just set up like a full line of them over here like the little firing squad and the maywing of course you know the best thing for making a little firing squad there we go i think this is the last one maybe possibly let's see any more oh yeah no we got plenty here let's go ahead and dump out the rest of these um yeah we could probably just pile them out over here god damn it it's back onto the maywing <laughs> oh my god there we go all right let's get these last two out and there it is perfect okay let me set them all up into turret mode so we can just do it onto one of them uh so they need to be on aggressive they need to then go on to enable turret modes then if we just copy those settings to all of them uh oh and actually should probably ignore group whistles right hmm no you know what i'm not gonna do that because if i do that then i can't take them out of turret mode so there we go uh copy to 11 velocirors great these ones here are probably gonna get smashed just a little bit but that's fine hang on a second can you use grapples in here i feel like you can't right let's see no you can't okay cool let's uh where's the spot then so that this is this is the spot right here behind the purple tree you can sit up on that ledge with a velanosaur so let's go ahead and do that real quick and let's just dump out my main velanosaur right here and we'll go ahead and hop onto that one eventually um i think i'm good to go then i should be able to reach the um the little terminal here let's just dangle down just a little bit a little bit more perfect can we get all the way over here and summon it in without having to waste another grapple that's the question yes we can perfect okay also <laughs> it spawns like right here so i'm gonna go off to the side because i remember when we when we did this the last time i accidentally got stuck and it really looked like i was gonna potentially die let's go ahead and do that and then just move just grapple all the way up here will we even actually be able to get any shots in here it might be too far away Ooh, okay here we go can we oh yeah no it's left click there we go okay yeah look at that they're doing hardly any damage because obviously they're just in normal turret mode um i'm actually hitting it so that's good let's see let's go into third person so it's not so shaky my god that is so shaky in first person compared to third person that's much better all right yeah no this is gonna be great even without those velanosaurus down there i'd say this should be a piece of cake i mean they're just kind of distracting it almost just a little bit for the moment you know they're uh they're just basically the bait <laughs> with really good saddles that i wasted a lot of materials on but that's okay that's fine all right let's see 30 down by probably like a fifth right now i would say not too bad we're not really getting too many hits in here unfortunately because it's kind of a little bit far away i feel like we're not getting as many as we could oh by the way this is what i leveled it all up to so they all have 15k health i didn't level any stamina on all the other ones but i did feed more gigas to this one so we could level that up and then i think it's like 35 levels into the where is it there it is into the um into the melee and all of them so yeah it's not uh not really helping let's just go ahead and send them in on him maybe they'll actually bite at him or something they should be out of turret mode right now because they are on attack my target so yeah if they can get to it they might actually start biting it we'll see <laughs> they're really not going to do a whole lot of damage this is the main thing oh i broke the tree no this is the main thing up here oh wait no i didn't do this this little like turd down here did wow i obliterated that little guy is that how that works you just obliterate them i think so all right yeah he's at like half health almost is that another one right there yeah oh yeah no those things die super quick damn they must have like barely any health at all all right cool let's just continue with this fight he's coming up to like half health here actually not too bad it might be a lot easier if he was just like right below me here with no other distractions i'd be able to just blast him for like not even five minutes and he'd be dead i would say let's see yeah they're not doing a whole lot of damage to him so it's really not super worth having anything down there i'm not gonna waste all my stamina this time that way we don't have to wait for the uh regen huge amount and there we are perfect okay sweet so yeah he should be at like half health right now roughly i don't know if the symbol's gonna appear on him i can't remember if it did he's definitely below half health right now i think almost looks like it yeah no the symbol's not appearing from the feared hawk interesting let's just go ahead and destroy these little golems what are they even called rubble bears interesting all right let's take them out come on stein bjorn oh there we go why is he only showing up now i thought that shows up at half health man that wasn't him or was it maybe he was just out of range i feel like that's maybe what's happening here probably all right well anyway yeah i kind of regret having them all over there should have put them over this side so we can actually be properly part of the battle can we damage these rocks at all i don't think so 
that's cool all right i think the only danger when you're when you're actually up here is he can throw the rocks at you and stuff well his telekinetic powers as you can see <laughs> he can use that to like hit you with them but like you should be okay i don't think they hit the rider at all so should be fine if you're like chilling up here i wasn't watching the stamina at that time so probably like four regens on the stamina and then it pretty much was dead almost <laughs> we'll see all right come on buddy oh i don't think i got a dermis last time and i do have the taxidermy tool this time just in case i'm pretty sure i didn't get one or maybe i did and i've just forgotten i don't know it's kind of hard to remember absolutely everything here we go buddy come on you know what let me move them all over here let me just get them all to come over this side here and then we can be part of the battle maybe possibly we'll see let's uh bring them over here i'm very surprised they're not dead yet by the way <laughs> like my giga was dead at this point in the last freaking battle that we did all right actually attack him though here we go oh yeah i feel like we're hitting way more shots now oh he's dying quick look at that damn boy look at you giant ice bear you're going down all right come on look at them going <laughs> it's getting so laggy because of all their little spindles are everywhere that attack right there for people who don't remember that used to do thousands of damage it was ridiculous i think now it still does a good amount of damage not for them right now for some reason but i've definitely done a decent amount of damage with that in the past like 50 to 100 damage and it's not the worst but it's not super easy to use that was like the crowd control freaking attack back in the day though it was great all right and he's dead there we go nice very good and hop off and what do we got let's see uh crap somebody somebody picked it up already that's a health potion here we go boom we got that uh who has the killing loot who's got it is it you uh let's just pick him up then i guess you know what how much damage you guys take Seven thousand is not a yeah holy crap okay no that one took a lot <laughs> That one took like 12,000. You also took 7,000. Let's see. You are the same. What the hell happened to that second one there? He just took all the damage. You only took like 6,000. All right. We've got an issue here. He's they're, they're definitely not inside of there, right? The loot. I did check that correctly. Okay, cool. 300,000 health. That's insane. All right. Uh, you don't have the loot. What about you? Wait hang on a second come on one of you's gotta have the loot right it didn't mess up okay there we go i was getting a little bit worried there just because but there we go there is the loot that we got not uh not not the, yeah it's not very good <laughs> i mean like some pikes and yeah it's, it's okay that's not very good loot <laughs> let's be honest i mean the the platform saddle's kind of nice this is grindable that's perfect for me um at least we got another one of these because i will be fighting the megapithecus pretty soon so let's go ahead and pick up all of that and uh yeah i guess i'll level some melee on you you took around nine thousand health actually or not nine thousand eight thousand ish uh yeah you know what that they all got fairly hurt but none of them were close to death except for that second one you barely took any damage what about you over here you're just like chilling all the way over here did you even move at all is this where i threw you out yeah no you hardly did anything did you you just sat back here and watched all your brothers and sisters just try to fight the giant ice bear um all right cool well anyway um really disappointed about the loot it would be nice to actually get something useful but fair enough at least we have a really easy way of defeating steinbjorn and in fact i could almost leave a velanosaur up there I might I might do that you know what we could probably leave this one up there okay yeah so he should be good in here he's barely got any food you know what okay I think I'll come back I'll come back after filling up his food and um and then I'll leave him in here or something but yeah it makes a little bit of sense to not constantly have to remember to bring something over here I could just pretty much come over 30 rune stones bam and then hop up there and start the fight and it should be all good to go all right, well, anyway, guys, I think that's probably going to be it for today's video. I'm really happy with these Velanosaurs. It's actually kind of bringing back some good memories of using these guys because I did use them a lot when they were first introduced. And then after the nerf, I kind of lost all interest in them, if I'm going to be honest, because, you know, uh, if you remember them before the nerf, you will definitely be disappointed no matter what. But uh, you know what? I do like them. They are cool creatures for sure. Anyway, that's going to be it. If you have enjoyed this one, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And yes, I'll be seeing you in the next one.